This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Hines versus Anderson. You all are dating and are considering moving in together, but that moving van is on hold until you find out what's going on, Ms. Hines. Tell me why you've opened your case today. I believe he's cheating, and I'm done. I don't want to go through this no more. All right, so... I love, it... her, but I love her, but I love him enough. I'm putting me first for once. Okay. So, you're like, I love him, but what I'm not gonna do... is celebrate his stuff anymore. All right. All right. Mr. Anderson, you heard it. Yes, he says did, she yeah. thinks you're cheating, and she's gonna, for once, put herself first if she finds out you are cheating. What do you have to say about that? I'm not cheating on Yana. I work, Yana. I work very hard. I love Jackie. The reason why that she accused me of cheating is the, the force of communication. I mean, by the time I get off of work, you know, I'm tired. So you're saying you don't have time to cheat? No, nah. I, I just so, don't have time to cheat. Nah. She's accusing nah. you of cheating. You nah. don't even have time to cheat. No, I don't. I don't have nah. time. And so that's what you want to show her today. Yes. And yeah. Miss Hines is like, nope, I ain't having it. I know the deal. I'm gonna spit the gadget. Okay. When I believe that he's doing something, not out of ten times, I believe he's doing something. I just can't catch him. Okay. The particular day, I popped him at his house, do what I do best, get in the searcher, I go to that closet, and it's a, it's a wig in there. It's a wig! Okay. So that wasn't your wig? It was not my wig, bruh. Oh, it was... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you wrong. I'm so sorry. But it was not my wig. So I proceeded to light that thing on fire. You burned the wig? I lit it up. I lit it, I lit it like a Christmas tree. Okay, you... did you burn it in the house? Yes. Girl, I had it in my head walking down the stairs with it. <laughs> walking down the stairs with it. All right, I know that was an eye-opener, wasn't it, Mr. Anderson? No, because yes, he was just that was. story. It's a family member. But, Yana, it's not, it's not mine. I did let a family member use my place, and they messed up by, you know what I mean, taking the wig out. She keeps nagging me and nagging me about that. I, I, I can't deal with that. You all have this argument about the wig. How does it get resolved? I have to give her some act right. Sex! Sex! You have to, you have to give her some act Sex. right. Yeah, I gotta give her some Hold act on. right. Mm -hmm. What? S what is act right? What I'm blessed with, Yana. I gotta calm her down. What you blessed Move with? Down. You give her some oh. act right. What you blessed yeah. with? What I'm blessed oh. with. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I gotta... Oh. Right. 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 He said he gave us some act right. You know what? Right, baby. I came back. Okay, so here's the thing. This is what's tickling me, Mr. Cutler. She said the wig on fire, then he set her on fire. That's yep. all I said. <laughs> <laughs> that what happened. He gave her the act right. She forgot all about the wig. Until... Do you have any other reason to believe that he's cheating? He was like, um... Help me wash clothes, Ma. I looked... Oh, I'll do that. That ain't my job. So I, I love him, so I did it. As we separate his clothes, you see this crusty, cr oh, crusty. Not crusty. Extra, extra large. Oh. Rolls. Oh. In his laundry. Oh. Mr. Anderson, where did these underwear come from? Hmm. Once again, Yana, I allowed a family member to use my apartment. I didn't... I don't, I don't know where that Your came family from. member must have left naked. They left the wig there, left the <laughs> underwear there. No. Did they leave with any clothes on when they left? I don't know. I don't know, Yana. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. And I, po I posted the video. Okay, so I... tell us... Tell us what happened. Um, I posted that up there, and then I also posted that, um... He was in a relationship. She gonna comment, like, oh, really? This is what we doing? So I asked her, who are you? So this woman, after you post the underwear, responds. So she telling you basically, that's me. That's my man. <laughs> so wait, I know she had a conversation with you about this woman calling her. Who is this woman she to you? Me I was no, lying. I was crazy. The other female is someone that's obsessed with me. She, I mean, she, she find... I'm... Why is she obsessed with you? I mean, she, she... Listen, baby. Listen, Look, baby. Look, that's right. Come no, on, man. Yana, Yana... Listen, 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 listen. Did you really listen, ask that listen, question? Listen. Yeah! <laughs> no, Yana. You're all enough. Can I put the evidence out? Because she a liar. He is, too. So I said, send me some proof. Okay, it's Ron, would you bed. grab that for us, please? In the bed. Oh. Uh, okay. Miss Hunt. Oh, hold on. Just hit, hit, hit them notes. So this is what she sent you. Oh. And you know it's his bed because... Ah. I bought them sheets that he had. Okay, this is not you laying in the bed? Nope. Okay. You bought these sheets. That's mm, your testimony. I bought the sheets. All right, so that's how you know. All right, we got another picture. 
What is this you just handed me? That's her. That's oh. me and my baby daddy. Hugged up in the same bed. She did buy me a set of sheets, but she ain't buy those. So, Mr. Anderson, you said she didn't buy the sheets. You bought them. Is that really what you're focusing in on? Yeah. Aren't we really focusing in on the fact that in the picture on the left, there's a woman in your bed who's not Miss Hines, <laughs> and on the picture on the right, there's a woman in the same bed who is Miss Hines? The second picture is her. The first picture, I don't know who that is. But it's your bed. It's, yes, it, it's my bed, but... And that's your shoulder. Again, that's where you gonna take me? No. no Yana, I, it, may, it may sound crazy, Yana, but... No, no, it doesn't may sound crazy. It is crazy. That ain't a may. So, after the, the, the panties and the wig and, and these pictures, did you have any more interaction with this woman? Yes. Like I said, I'm a spectacle gadget. What happened? I goes to his phone. The same woman told him that she's pregnant. Oh. She's carrying his kid. OK. This woman says that she is carrying your child. Well, that doesn't happen unless you've had sex with her. Yana, I didn't, I didn't do anything with the woman. I didn't... I didn't it's, not, it's not my baby. It's not my baby, Yana. So you saying it's not your baby? No, hmm. it's not my it's not my baby. And Miss Hines, you don't believe that. You see it right there on the tech. Oh, I was done, because mind you, me and him trying to have a baby for like five or six months. We talk about having a baby. Okay. So you don't know what you don't know what not this woman's talking about. No, you think the woman's telling the truth? And, and she, the she, woman is here. And she and... We're gonna hear from her. <laughs> Ron, would you please report our witness there? Yes, sir. We're gonna go right up to the witness stand. Good day, ma'am. How are you? All right. Would you state your name, please, for the record? Gina Terry. And Miss Terry, what is the nature of your relationship with Mr. Anderson? Well, I thought me and Mr. Anderson was together. He never told me that he had no girlfriend. At all. Okay, so how long have you all, you and Mr. Anderson, been seeing each other? We've been seeing each other for like about four months now. And during that time period, no inkling that he had a I relationship never, with I, Ms. I, Hines. No, I didn't, because I didn't know nothing about her until she called my phone and asked me, is I messing with her man? And I told her, no, I told her, well, I didn't know she called he had a woman. When he came to the house, because he was staying with me, and I asked Carly, did, you know, some girl called my phone. He said, don't pay no mind and don't listen to her because she's lying. So That's what he told me. Have you ever left any clothing items or other items at his house? No, I haven't. No, I don't leave no clothes at... I didn't leave no clothes at Carly's house. No wig, no mm. panties, no... Community out here. No Community. Community. No. Wig, no. no. Did you text Mr. Anderson and say that you are expecting? First of all, I got sick at my job. I called Kali on the phone. He was at work. And I told Kali that I was pregnant. Kali said, oh, really, baby? Really? He was happy. Kali told He's everybody at okay. the job that I was pregnant. Mr. Anderson? That's some pretty detailed testimony. I see the look in your face. That's a look I've seen a lot of times up here. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything to say? Say something! Yana, let's get it straight. I said, it's not mine. No, I, you didn't say that. that. No, 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 I you did didn't tell, you that. tell me that. Let me just start a step back, Mr. Cutler. OK. In the last four months, have you had sex with Miss Terry? No. You have not had sex with her. No. When she when she comes over, let's keep it running. When you when, when you come over, we don't do anything. Kali, we do. She have comes sex. over to your house. Kali, we she, do. She came over before. Yeah, the, but the, we. The, 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 the chill. Since, Kali... you, since you've been in a relationship with Miss Hines, <laughs> has Miss Terry been to your home? No. Mm -hmm. Have you had sex with her since you've been in a relationship with Miss Hines? No. If someone calls you and tells you that they're pregnant. You said it's not yours. 
Why? I mean, that's like, well, you must have been with other people, but it's not mine, as opposed to, how in the world, why are you telling me that? I mean, we've never been together. We've never had any relationship. Why are you telling me? I didn't, not a fact of, of sharing intimacy with her. I shared intimacy with her, yes. But you shared intimacy? The, the time frame doesn't add up. That's why I'm saying it's not What does mine. that mean, you shared intimacies with her? That me and her had sex before. But you're saying when you had sex with her, it predated was, um, it, before Miss Hines. Yes, before Miss Hines. And it couldn't be that she's just now getting pregnant from that sex, sexual yes, account. Yes, because her time frame doesn't add up because I, I was with Miss Hines. And I, I, I didn't step out of my relationship. That's why I said, oh, it's not mine. But, Miss Terry, you're saying in the last four months, you all have had a sexual relationship. Yes, we have. And that's why you're pregnant yes, by him. Yes, by him. Hmm. And I haven't been seeing no one else but Kali. Well, go ahead, is the When is the last time you've had sex with Miss Anderson? I say about now, about what? A month, about a month now since I haven't, because I haven't been talking to him. I understand that his girlfriend is here. Like I said to you, honey, I didn't know nothing about honey. you. Kali never told me at the time about you. Hmm. First of all, she's lying. When I called her, she told me they was friends. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter now because she's saying, we were in a relationship. I know about you. Now that you know out of her mouth that, yeah, she's saying, yeah, we were in a relationship. We've been in a relationship. How does that make you feel? Well, I'm and, and wait, she's claiming that she's pregnant? You've been trying to have a baby with this man and she's claiming... How do you feel about that? Oh, I'm hurt, but I'm pregnant too. What? <laughs> You're pregnant? I'm pregnant too. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So, when did you find out you were pregnant? I found out Saturday. Just, the, just a few days ago? Two days ago. Did, have you told him? He, he know. Soon I peed to the cup. I smacked him with it. So, all this time you've been trying to get pregnant, you finally are pregnant? I finally am pregnant. So, the acrite has finally come through. <laughs> So, Ms. Hines, what are you going to do if it is determined that he has been cheating with Miss Terry or with somebody else? I'm leaving. I'm done. But you're, I'm you're done. pregnant now with this child. I don't care. Child. I'm done. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't do nothing. Don't even come around for this baby. You have the possibility, Mr. Anderson, of being a daddy twice, two different women, around the same time. Go ahead, We love. planned this baby. Oh, hmm. Well, we have done a thorough investigation to find out what is going on. At this time, the court would like to call licensed polygraph examiner Kendall Shull to determine, is he cheating? Rod, it's 40 minutes, please. <laughs> how are you, Mr. Shull? I'm great, Your Honor. How are you? I'm great. Would you share for the court record your credentials? I spent almost 30 years with the FBI, spent my whole career in Washington, D.C. When I retired, I was actually chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. Uh, retired, moved to Knoxville, Tennessee, where I set up my own business of polygraphs and private investigations. All right. All right, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Shule's gonna tell your story. Do you want to tell your story or you want him to tell it? I'd rather for Mr. Chills to tell my story. All right. <laughs> well, he's able. He's getting ready to. Mr. Anderson, during your relationship with Ms. Hines, have you had sexual intercourse with Ms. Terry? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being... Deceptive. I slept with... I, I did sleep with Miss Terry. I did, okay. I did sleep with her. And you've done it during the course of this relationship with Miss Hines? Yes. But I, I, haven't, I haven't been intimacy with her for, for <laughs> a, a while. I mean, it could be... I mean, somebody else. I mean, I, I'm not denying the fact of sleeping with her. But... I understand that it could be somebody else, but the somebody could be you. Yes. If you have questions about whether it's yours or not, we can get that question resolved, too, because we've got a direct line to Lawn Lakes Paternity Court. And so we can make those arrangements for you to figure out 
whose child it is, that if that's very, your concern. That would be very helpful. Mm. <laughs> Ms. Hines? I'm really hurt, but you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm me and the kids leaving. I'm putting me first. All right, Ms. Hines, I ain't no way in the world I tell you to stay with him, so I'm not. Because Mr. Anderson hasn't figured it out yet. Yeah, he ain't right. He and Mr. Anderson, it's okay if you want to play the field. But you need to be open and honest that I'm not ready for to make you the only one. You talking about the act right, you got to act right. Mm -hmm. That's where the act right starts. <laughs> you all have been together for two years. In fact, today is your two-year anniversary. And where most people will be out celebrating their two-year anniversary, Mr. Rosenswag, you have brought Ms. Rankin here to court and are accusing her of cheating. Tell us why you've opened this case. Uh, I've opened this case, Your Honor, because I've been with her for the last two years. Things ran very smooth in the beginning. Uh, we met at a party. Uh, it was a part of a mutual friend. We actually went to high school together, but we were in no classes together. The first year was real smooth, and then she picked up this new job as a dog trainer, and she was out of the house a lot, trying to build up this clientele. And that's why you brought her to court on your anniversary. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, what does that feel like for you to believe that this young lady that you love and you spent this time with is cheating on you? I mean, it doesn't feel good. I've done a lot for her. I mean, okay. I've been, been there for her through a lot of stuff. Um, and it just feels like, you know, she's taking advantage at this point. All right, Ms. Rankin, why are you here? I'm here to defend myself, to claim my innocence. He knows I'm not cheating. He's being ridiculous. This is our two-year anniversary, and I'm here in court when I should be getting flowers and chocolate. Oh. <laughs> so, I, what I'm hearing from you is not, like, I feel sad, but you sound a little angry oh, about I'm all this. I'm pissed. I'm pissed, Your Honor. So, it's not just anger. You are beyond that. Mm hmm Yes, Your Honor. So, what was it like in the beginning with him? And the beginning was great. He was the perfect boyfriend. I was at kind of a low point when I met him. Okay. And he brought me up, made me feel good about myself. And now I'm just over it because I've been having to defend myself way too much. Wow. Woo. Okay. Lisa made a real turn. <laughs> Mr. Rosenswag, she said in the beginning, yeah. you put the swag in Rosenswag. Oh. You know, you that were the was, man. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> what did you like about her when you first met her? Uh, I liked her smile. She, uh, she was very nice in the beginning, but you know, the what went night. wrong? Because it sounds like things were going well. Where, where did the turn come? Uh, I would say about six months ago when she started this new job. This new job is something yeah, else. Tell me about this job. Way. You know, she told me after the training was done that she'll be working from home and she'll be bringing the dogs home to train them there. Okay. You know, the dogs will come by sometimes. Sometimes they're real terrible. They'll tear my shoes up. They'll do <laughs> stuff like that. If I had known that I was gonna go through three pairs of Jordans a week with her dogs that she brings through the house, maybe I would have been a little less supportive or I would have been out in the beginning. They obviously can tell something that I couldn't. Ooh. You're talking about the dogs? Yeah. So you think the dogs are chewing up his, his shoes because of how he is? Yes. All right, so tell me how this job has affected you. Why do you think that because of the job there's been this turn in your relationship? Okay, you wanna hear a story? I, we, I... we went to go get an oil Please. change a few weeks ago. Okay. Uh, we just sat there for like four hours and she just didn't speak to me. She was fully involved in the phone. You know, I was asking her questions like, who are you texting, stuff like that, even though I don't like asking questions like this. Yes, you do. Okay. Anyway. What made you think that she was texting somebody that you might be involved with? What it's was it about? It's the way she looks at the phone. You can see the way she's laughing at certain things. What does that look like? Show me what that looks like. <laughs> it's just a smile. Show us a smile. Come on. So she's texting and she yeah. just gets this look on her face. Yeah. You know, um... Yeah. Okay. No, it was, no, back around Labor Day, one of our oh, sons was yeah. texting. And he was, we were at a family gathering. He's off to the side, and he's just texting. And then he, you know, texting again. And he had this look on his face. And I just very calmly asked him, so what's her name? He kind of dropped his head. He's like, how do you know? I said, I know what that looks like. It's the body language. It's the body language. That's what you saw. Yep. So we went back to the house. And uh, her phone was dead and she needed a charger. She told me to go look through her purse. So I went to go look for the charger in her purse and I found three Magnum condoms oh. in the, where, she hides her, uh, where she hides her cards. And I took a picture just to have some proof. Okay, do you have that? Uh, I do have this. Rob, would you please get the yes, evidence, yeah. please? All right, so you go in the other room. Yes. With, this, uh, with the condoms and you confront her. What do you say? I said, what are these? Where did these come from? And she told me that she had... Uh, you know, stop taking her pills, and that she got these from the doctor. And I said, you know, the doctor doesn't give away Magnum condoms, I'm pretty sure. 
okay, let me let me not to you know get all in your business, well, but get do... <laughs> we gotta find we gotta find out. Right? We gotta find out. Gotta the find question out. is, do you use magnums? Uh, no. Honestly, we we don't use condoms. You don't use condoms. Never. Okay, okay so right. you're like, why do you have these if we don't use them? Exactly. Uh-huh. And you're thinking the condom don't fit. Listen, I went to the doctor to start a new birth control. The first month doesn't work. And at the doctor, I grabbed a handful of condoms for us. And I have friends that are very promiscuous. So I grabbed them for also. That sounds good, it right? Was very, it was very innocent. I think he's just not appreciating me enough. He's a <laughs> leprechaun and I'm his pot of gold. So I think he should just... So what kind of doctor's office is giving out Magnum condoms? Yeah, they usually just have generic. Uh, this was a very fancy doctor's office. No doubt. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> and look, and not only did she grab some for herself, she's like, oh, she would want some. And, yeah. oh, I know she wants some. Because she's a giver. Yeah. And I know she wants some. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have a bag I can put these in so I can take them to all my <laughs> friends? Really? Mm-hmm. That's your story? Yes, Your Honor. You weren't using these condoms no. with someone else? No. All right, Mr. Rosenswag, why else do you think she's cheating? We had this dog at the house, and this was probably the worst dog that she's trained so far. She told me that she was finally going to drop the dog back off with its owner, and she was going to collect her money. It was only going to take, like, a half hour. Two hours go by, and I hadn't heard from her, and I was texting her, FaceTiming her, doing all that stuff. And she comes back, and she has no money. Okay. Ms. Rankin, who'd you spend the money on? I didn't spend the money. The owner of the dog I was training was one of my friends. I hadn't seen her for a while, so when I dropped the dog off, we were just catching up. My phone died. Literally, everything is innocent. Just so you're honest. saying that you went, and you're saying it was a female friend. I yeah. heard that. Yes. Yeah. So you were not there, you were not with another man, is what you're saying. No. But no. you believe that she was. It's always a female. She always says it's a dog trainer, but it's always a girl. But when I see, you know, I've seen over her shoulder at her phone before, and I see what she texts. And I've caught her, and she just lies. She lies straight to your face. She'll start twirling her hair, and I catch her in everything. You just twirling her hair. That's yeah. her sign. That's, that's, that's her tail. Yeah, that's her tail. See, yeah, right there. She's like, well, she was giving us an example. <laughs> that was her and thing. Don't forget the classic, my phone died. Yes, I heard yeah. that. I heard that. No, she'll you keep know, her phone, phone off. You the most inopportune times is when always when the other person is looking for you. And you gone, and you have been gone, and you have been gone longer than you said you are gonna be gone. Uh-huh. That's when the phone dies. That's Doesn't phone anybody dies. have a charger in their car? Nobody has a charger, nobody has an outlet, nobody has anything. You know what she does is slick? She leaves the phone on. That way, like, messages go through and she can say, see, my phone didn't die one time. He has my location on his phone. He tracks my location. <sighs> the problem is that when you're telling him I'm gonna be gone for 30 minutes, and then you end up being gone for two hours. That's what raises the suspicion. It's not my job to show him every paycheck I get. But, Ms. Rankin, think of it this way. What if he did that? What if he said, hey, I'm going somewhere, I'll be back in a half hour, and I'm going to pick up some money? He comes back two or three hours later, no explanation, no money. How would that make you feel? She would snap. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, 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 I wouldn't. It wouldn't bother me because I know he wouldn't yes, be getting other girls. Come on, Miss Rankin. Okay. He looks like a kneecap with hair. Yo. He's not going <laughs> to be getting other girls. I'm not worried a about it. He got you. Hair. Yes. Wait, wait. You say he's not gonna get any other girls. He got you. I'm the best that he's ever got. Well, you know, with that attitude, that might not necessarily hold out to be true. Mm. You know, he's accusing you of cheating. Yes. And if he finds out you're cheating. You know, this relationship could be over. Yes, Your Honor. You realize that, right? I do. And then you'll be in the doghouse. <laughs> Have you caught her with any other issues with any other dogs? Uh, not any other dogs, but she did pick up this new job as a reptile assistant. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's oh. a snake handler now. She I like this. snakes. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm, like, okay. I'm good with wrangling snakes. I don't... I don't like snakes. So that's just a lot so right there. Don't do that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, that, like, that's creeping me out, man. So, Your Honor, she's supposed to be working six to eight hours a week at this job. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first day she goes to work and she's texting me and she's telling me it's the worst job ever, da da da, and then all of a sudden she just disappears. You know, and I understand she would have to put the reptiles away I'm and go working. back to the person's house. And she says she's working. Okay. But, but, you know, where does she go for three hours when the phone's off and all, and all this stuff? And, 
Working. That's where the questions are. I was doing an educational program. I bring the reptiles to schools, birthday parties, and I give a whole program for little kids. Is there any reason why you can't share with him what you're doing? Like, babe. I told him I was going... He knows what I'm doing. Well, clearly he, just, he doesn't. Well, clearly he doesn't because, it's his you know... In the beginning. No. You, you say you're handling snakes and he thinks you're being a snake. Wow. Wow, Mr. Kelly, you just went there. Yeah. Am I right? That was yeah. good, yeah. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one hurt a little bit. <laughs> Look, this is, these are his allegations against you. She's a snake. She is a snake. You know, it, it's very important for me, the, for Mr. Cutler, to be happy. He knows who I'm with. He knows what I'm doing. He knows where I'm going. And that way, he knows that I'm not handling snakes. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, and l let's put it in your world, in your terms, because you say you're the best he's ever going to do. Yeah. And so if you're all that, then you should put his mind at ease and let him know that you're into him if you are. Mm -hmm. Do you love him? Yes. Yeah. You care about him? Yes. Mr. Rosa Swag, do you love her? Yes. You care about her? Yes. You want to be with her? Uh, I would like to be. If, the sh if, if she stopped being shady, it would be completely different. <laughs> right. So, let me just say this, love. I think we have enough. And what we have yeah. is, he believes that she's cheating because her attitude has changed since the dog training. He found condoms, mm -hmm. a specific kind of condom, in her purse, and they mm -hmm. don't use condoms. And then he says his girlfriend is lying... He believes she's lying about the kind of snakes she's handling. Mm -hmm. She's the out there handling snakes, but mm -hmm. which one? Right. And the text messages, the, the look she gets when the... she's secretly texting while they're together. And because of that, he believes she's cheating, and if she's cheating... He's done. Yeah, I'm out. Right here on their two-year anniversary, they're either up or down. All right. Well, to get to the bottom of these cheating allegations, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> Good day, sir. How are you? I'm wonderful, Your Honor. How about you? Doing well. It's good to see you. You too. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. Would you state your credentials, please, for the record? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I am a forensic voice analyst, and I've been in law enforcement for more than 23 years. All right. Explain to our litigants how forensic voice analysis works. Forensic voice analysis works on the spoken word. When you speak, you have two frequencies in your voice, AM and FM. And when you tell a lie, the FM frequency goes away. It shows up a certain way on our computer, as you see here on the monitor. One of the things that we also do is we will ask a series of baseline questions to kind of get an idea of what someone is going to respond or how they're going to respond or even how they're going to do on the test. Did you learn anything during your pretest with Ms. Rankin? Yes, I did, Your Honor. Before I conducted the voice analysis, I asked Ms. Rankin how she would do on the test. Ms. Rankin replied, I plead the fifth. Oh. <laughs> Ms. Rankin? Yes, Your Honor? Why did you plead the fifth? I, I was really nervous. I've never taken anything like this before. And I don't know how much I trust the results. Mm. You don't trust the results or you don't trust yourself? The results. Mm. And you understand this is what they use in law enforcement? Yes, Your Honor. And this is a way that you all catch criminals? Yes, ma'am. So, is there anything you need to tell him? Because we're gonna get the results. Mm -hmm. And these results don't lie. No, but I have nothing you, to say. You have nothing to say? No. All right. The results don't lie, but the question is, do you? Hmm. We'll find Go. out. Oh. All right, Mr. Mm -hmm. Wolf. No, you gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real clear. Let's take a look at the first question you asked Ms. Rankin. The day your boyfriend Matthew found condoms in your purse, did you buy those condoms to have sexual intercourse with another man? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The forensic voice analysis determined that she was being... ...deceptive, Your Honor. <gasps> like I said, you gonna find out. I don't... I don't trust these results. Mm-mm. There's nothing to not trust, Kelly. The you only don't, reason you don't you trust don't... the results... Go ahead, love. We're in the same place. I know. We're the same you do place. it. You do it. You don't trust the results because you think something's wrong? You don't trust the results because they found you out? I think something's wrong. I've never cheated on him, ever, or planned on it. All right. Let's take a look at the next question. The day you say you worked a reptile assistant job, did you have sexual intercourse with another man? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that she was being deceptive again, Your Honor. 
All right. This is ridiculous. It is. And I think you think it's ridiculous for one reason. I definitely think it's ridiculous for another one. Let's take a look at the final question. Since the beginning of your relationship in October of 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any man besides your boyfriend, Matthew? No. What did the forensic analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that she was being deceptive, Your Honor. I no, 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 no. I don't believe that. Um, I'm done with this relationship. <laughs> that that's the. I'm pissed. That's I'm the pissed. best you can do. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't. Well, I'm kind of done. I'm kind of done. I'm kind of uh, done. Would you escort her out? Yeah. Because we both <laughs> done. I'm over. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how you Sorry. put up with that for as long as you have. I'm done with it now. Yeah. yeah and you deserve it. She's in the doghouse. She's gonna sleep in the doghouse. And you kind of knew I'm it. Good. You kind of knew in your heart. Yeah, I know my gut. My gut's always, I have very strong intuition. And usually when I think something like this, I'm correct. Well, let me just say this You're a nice guy, and you seem like your heart's in the right place. You deserve a woman who's going to appreciate you for that, who's not gonna call you. Thank you. A kneecap with, with hair. You deserve better than that. 